How's it going everyone? Maximilian here, once again back with another video for Street Fighter Cross Tekken, this time demonstrating the infinites that are currently known in the game as of mid-March 2012. So, as of right now, there's four confirmed infinites uh, for four different characters, and there's one extra one for Steve that involves some gem usage, but I think has only been completed using a tool-assisted uh, tool assisted combo. But um, let's, we're not going to talk about that one right now. We're going to talk about the ones that are done practically through like human capability and how effective and how bad they are in regards to uh, infinite status. Um, once again, I'm not going to be explaining how to perform these combos. This is only in regards to updating the public view of what these infinites do, and hopefully they get fixed very soon with some recent patches. The first one's with Kazuya, and Kazuya is probably the most dangerous one of all the infinites in the game right now. The only thing that makes it not ridiculous is the fact that it only works on a select, I think, third of the cast, and it's some of the larger characters. Um, essentially what makes it really bad is that one of his special moves allows you to go back into a standing state even though you're physically being juggled. Uh, it's an interesting thing I never thought would be able to go, to, go into an infinite, but uh, through the sake of this it can actually be done anywhere on the screen against these larger characters and it'll always lead into the corner um, and as a result if you go through the entire motion it'll actually soak up like 70 seconds off the clock or something ridiculous like that. That one is the easiest one to perform, and is probably the worst one in the game right now. Next one is Xiao Yu's that uses her uh, quarter circle back medium punch after a ground bounce. This one looks really easy to perform, uh, but until you start actually trying it, I've only been able to get up to like four or five reps of this thing. It's like a one frame link in between each of the quarter circle back medium punches where she slaps you up and down. Uh, this one is not very practical, and if you do something like this online, uh, I'd, I'd be shocked. Uh, I mean, good for you if you're able to, but at the same time, it's an infinite, and hopefully it gets patched out pretty soon. The next one was recently discovered, and it's, uh, it's Pac-Man's. So Pac-Man is a DLC character, I'm sorry, he is a console-exclusive character, so he's going to be most likely banned at most tournaments, but this is still annoying for players that go into online games that have to deal with this, this stuff. He's got an infinite, which is very reminiscent of Gambit from Marvel vs. Capcom 1, and if Gambit was able to juggle you in MVC 1, he can do so with a standing light punch, a standing light kick, and pretty much repeat it until you're dead or until the time runs out. Uh, it takes very little damage, and over time, it would just, you know, time would run out. Uh, but with Pac-Man, it's almost the exact same thing, but he can do it without a juggle state. He can hit you with a standing light punch, a standing light kick, and essentially follow you to the other side of the corner. The issue is, is that these links in between, I think from the light kick back to the standing uh, light punch is, is practically a one-frame link and is really difficult to do. I'd honestly say this one feels like it's the hardest one out of them all. The next one is another very easy one to do, and it involves Kuro, which is one of the console-exclusive characters of the Cats. And Desk already showed a lot of information on this one. Essentially, it involves him coming in off of a tag switch, and based off this, if you're able to hit medium punch as soon as him coming in, he can just consistently link medium punch until pretty much Kingdom Come. Uh, not many people use the cats, but it's very easy to lead into something like this, and this is another uh, just as easy to perform infinite as Kazuya's is. Uh, but you're not going to see many of this, much of this in tournaments as, at all, because he is, once again, a console exclusive character. It just sucks for a lot of people online that are having to go up against this kind of stuff. So, this isn't meant for you players to try to use this stuff. I don't, I don't encourage you to do the, any of this stuff at all. It's not going to help you, and it's not going to make anybody happy with your performance and doesn't make you any better at the game either. It's just annoying stuff that happens when these games come out, and as you guys know, with Marvel 3, Street Fighter 4, there were infinites in all those games for the first month or two, and then they eventually get patched out. So hopefully these get patched out earlier than later, and if anything else seems to arise as a result of infinite combos and in the crazy gameplay systems of Street Fighter Cross Tekken, I'll make another video later on that'll go over what's currently going on with the infinites in this game. But until then, thank you guys very much for watching. This has been Maximilian, and I'll see you next time.